Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Thursday, March 11th from the First United Methodist Church here in beautiful downtown Lexington, Tennessee. Hope that you are doing well today. Uh, we are uh, getting ready for our weekend activities, which includes worship both in person and uh, online on Sunday morning. Uh, we're also, tomorrow, Friday, sending a group of our confirmands to a confirmation retreat at Lakeshore Campground, so please be in prayer for them as they prepare to make that journey together. Today we are reading together from the book of Ephesians in the New Testament, the first chapter, beginning with verse 3. And this is just a short passage that reminds us how we have been chosen and adopted by God through Jesus Christ for the covenants and the promises that God has made with his chosen people. So listen to these verses from Ephesians 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love, he destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today we continue to pray for those in need who include Charlotte Polk, Janice Rice, Janice Patterson, Kelly Odom, William Daly, Clay Hallmark, Ron Lee, Tom Riney, Tommy Gordon, and Thomas Whitwell, the father of Tommy Whitwell of our congregation, who's having some heart issues. So please keep Mr. Whitwell and his family in our prayers as well. For all of these and for all of those on our hearts, let us go to God in prayer. O Creator and mighty God, you have promised us strength for the weak, rest for the laborers, light for the way, grace for our trials, help from above, unfailing sympathy, undying love. O Creator and mighty God, help us to continue in your promise. Together we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are working for justice and peace in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all workers as they go about their tasks, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, national, state, and local, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for the communion of all the saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we join together as we pray using the words that Jesus has taught us, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Look forward to being with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.